Hello, everybody, and welcome to Racing from Delaware Park. Delaware Park. I'm Rich Glazier. What is this green hanky? <laughs> anyway, thanks for tuning in, and we are going to show you today Wednesday's races. We had eight of them. It was a hot, steamy Stanton day today, but as far as the racetrack conditions go, main track fast, turf course firm. And once again, just for the people that are concerned, uh, we do keep the horses in the paddock very long time. Maybe we don't send them out until maybe four minutes to post. We hose them down before the races. They run the race, we hose them down after the race, and uh, no incidents or any problems with that today. So we're gonna show you the eight races that were run here. Uh, Bungie had a pick today, and I think he's got one for tomorrow. Let's see. Hello, Bungie. Yes, I know. You're, you're, he's, he wants to watch a race at Indiana that's running on the television right over here, but you can't do that, Bungie. We have an audience here. Uh-huh. Okay, what's your pick for Thursday? Stop, Bungie. <laughs> I don't think you hit it, Bungie. Good roll. Good roll was the name of his horse for tomorrow. I hope you have a good roll. All right. Thank you, Bungie. And now we will look at the field for the opener, okay? And here it is. And there it is, five of them to go in race number one. The uh, one horse, the first horse in the first race is the favorite, Guinness Spice. This one's at six furlongs. Here's John with the call. In there, off. Alberto's Al Quinto breaks slowly, goes right for that lead up on the outside, Anonym, down toward the inside. After a bit of a slow beginning, that's Guinness Special as they make their way down the back stretch up on the outside, Nakia, and the trailer is Poppy's two step. On the front end, Alberto's Al Quinto by two lengths, Anonym racing second, Guinness Spice toward the inside, right there in third, then a gap of four lengths to Nakia, and Poppy's two step continues at the back. Opening quarter went in 22 and three as they make their way into the turn. Alberto's Al Quinto to catch, leads it by length. Anonym is right there in a good spot in second. It's about two and a half lengths further back to Guinness Spice going along in third, and still four to Nakia, and Poppy's two step moves up on the inside of that one. Three eights to go. Alberto's Al Quinto has been cowered by Anonym. Guinness Spice now looking to move up, making it a threesome as they turn for home. Poppy's two step rallies in fourth. Top of the stretch. Alberto's Al Quinto on the inside. Up on the outside. Here comes Guinness Spike. Anonym between them. Furlong to go. Guinness Spice has the momentum. Leads it now by a half. Alberto's Al Quinto's trying to battle back. Late rally from Poppy's two step with the rail. But it's Guinness Spice to take the opener. Guinness Spice and Hydro Rendon wins it by two. Alberto's Al Quinto second. Poppy's and two. And as what happens so often. The first horse in the first race, victorious here at Delaware Park, Guinness Spice for Hiro Rendon. Funny, a fan just stopped me the other day and asked where he's at, that he made a lot of money betting him on Del Cap weekend. I said, he runs up at Monmouth, but he'll be here again. And sure enough, he shows up today and wins the opener for the very excitable and colorful trainer, Douglas Nunn for the new Spice Stable. 360, 220, 210. Alberto's Al Quinto for Hernandez, 620, 340. Poppy's two-step with Jeremy. Jeremy had a nice one up at Monmouth on Labor Day. 210. Exact to 2680 to try 6280 and no superfecta in that race. And that winner was another. Delaware certified winner. Start the card off with a Delaware certified win. That's a good thing. Race two. Whoa. -oh. A lot of scratches in this one for some reason or other. And it's left just a field of three. The favorite was Northern Gray at three to five. This is five and a half furlongs. Here's John with the call.
and they're off. And Dag Burnett on the outside gets away best of all. Leads it now by a half a length down the back stretch. Northern Gray toward the inside of that one. And Student Uni got away a step slowly, it appeared, and will settle in that third spot as they move down the back stretch. Dag Burnett on the outside. Up on the inside, that's Northern Gray. Lengthen it further back to Student Union as they race into the turn. Dag Burnett, Northern Gray head to head. Student Union is right there, a close up third as they race into the turn. Dag Burnett trying to pull clear once again. On the inside, Northern Gray up on the outside, Student Union. Those three all within about a length as they race around the turn. Dag Burnett now being pressured by Student Union. Northern Gray has dropped back a bit toward the inside, racing third with a quarter to go. Dag Burnett trying to fend off Student Union. Followed by Northern Gray with the rails. They head for home. Dag Burnett is doggedly hanging in there on the outside. Student Union on the inside. Northern Gray. It's still Dag Burnett and Student Union. Student Union on the outside. Dag Burnett coming back for more. Northern Gray along the rail. It's Student Union. Dag Burnett and Northern Gray. Student Union. Student Union on the inside. Late surge. Northern Gray. Northern Gray may have gotten oh, up. It's a in a way. Last jump. It was the four. Northern Gray the favorite. Getting up. What an angel, Angel Suarez for Andy Simoff, the owner and trainer. 320, no place to show. Student Union was second, Dag Burnett was third. No exacta, no try. There was a double, one and four, paid $8.40 and no superfecta. Now, let's go to the third and this time, look at that. 12 of them to go, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 10, 11. 11 of them to go, that's right, because there was a very late scratch, the 11. Lear Avia was a late scratch. Check your tickets. The 12 and the 14 were also scratched. This is on the turf. At a mile and 70 yards on the firm turf. A big field. And the even money favorite. Sold that house. Oh, I guess it's like a, huh? That's like a, a play on words. Sold that, the sire, sold that house. That's what a real estate man would say. I sold that house. Let's see if the favorite wins. And they're off. Pride leader toward the inside, call a Luna and tell him he softly with the rail. Next to line, sold out house settles nicely in that fourth spot right behind the top trio. Followed by up on the outside, Marvelous Days and Regal Treasure looking to move up there on the far outside. Then a gap of about four lengths further back to Princess Nakia. Dino toward the inside on Shirley, then Running Tide and Dance Valentina as they race around the first turn. On the front end, Pride Leader by two and a half lengths. Telling me softly racing in second. Then a gap of two more to call a Luna, followed by Regal Treasure. Now they're quickly spreading out. Sold at House is next in line. A length and a further back, two marvelous days. Then three more to onshore leave Princess Nakia. Running tide, Dino, and Dance Valentina. Well spread out down the backside, opening quarter in a speedy 22 and two. And on the front end, it's Pride Leader in front by four. Moving up toward the inside, Colalina, followed by Real Treasure right alongside. Then two lengths further back to Telemi Softly. Next in line, Onshore Leave begins to move up. Sold out house toward the inside. We'll need some racing room. Telemi Softly is dropping back as they make their way around the bend. Half went in, 45 and fourth. Those are correct fractions. That is a quick half and Pride Leader, let's see how much he has left as they hit the top of the stretch. Pride Leader drifting out, looks weary, has it by two lengths, but the field is beginning to catch up. On the outside, here comes Running Tide, charging up from the back of the pack. Between horses, sold out house and marvelous days. Running Tide on the inside, it's... Sold out house, sold out house, now emerges with the lead. Sold out house beginning to edge away from running tide. Sold out house wins it. Running tide getting second. Looks like maybe hanging in there. Pride leader had something left in the lane. The last and a photo. Okay. And the winner was the favorite. Sold that house. How about that? Sold that house. Written by Clever Trevor. Trevor McCarthy for Andy Simoff. Was that two straight wins for Andy Simoff? What is going on here? Yes, it is. This one was owned by a local man, Al Clairline, Clairline. We just call him Butchie. He's from the old uh, Claymont Street area, I'm told. 
Clear line. Congratulations, Al. Butchie, $4, 260, 240. Running tied with Toledo, 383 even. Pride leader with Rivera, $6. The exact of 14.20. The try, 124.20. The double, that's the consolation double with the scratch of the 11, 360. The actual double paid 12.20. The pick three consolation, $3.60. The actual pick three, nine dollars and ninety cents, and the super, one fifty-eight even. So Andy Simoff with a training double, and we move to race four. In the fourth race, the six De Blues dancer was scratched. The two horse Sadie's Magic got the most money bet on her, and became the favorite. Let's watch. And they're off. And La Luvia does break well, goes right for that lead. Up on the outside, Spender. Sadie's Magic toward the inside of that one on the move, as is Nobody's Angel. Now we have a foursome ready to tee it off down the back stretch. On the inside, Nobody's Angel goes right on by, gets the lead now by almost two lengths. Up on the outside, that is Spender. Right there, La Luvia toward the inside of that one. Sadie's Magic now back in fourth. Then a gap of two to Beat you by a chubby nose and right alongside shopping for silver as they race into the turn. La Luvia showing the way. Make that Nobody's Angel showing the way with La Luvia racing in second. It's two and a half lengths to Spender and Sadie's Magic now on the move. Followed by Beat You by a Chevy Nose and Shopping for Silver. Into the band, La Luvia now taking on Nobody's Angel for that lead. Sadie's Magic gaining on the top two racing in third, then a gap of three or four lengths further back. To the rest of them as they turn for home with La Luvia and Nobody's Angel head to head. Sadie's Magic trying to kick it in in third with a furlong to go. La Luvia leads it now by a length and a half. On the inside, Nobody's Angel. On the outside, Sadie's Magic trying to run them down. It's La Luvia in front. Sadie's Magic's now coming with a run. La Luvia trying to hold off Sadie's Magic. Late charge shopping for silver is flying. Shopping for silver may have gotten up from far. And how about that? Another exciting finish and shopping for silver. Gets up to win for Anthony Nunez, Mike Catalano, the trainer, and just in time. That's appropriate for that finish. Just in time racing LLC. 1380, $764. La Luvia with Ortega, 1920 and 860. Sadie's Magic with Rodriguez, the favorite, 240. A nice exacta for $259 if you had it. A nice try, $930.80. The double, uh, $33.60. The consolation pick three, $19.30. The real pick three, $59.10. The pick four, $76.40. And a nice super with the one, of course, running fourth. 936.80. Fifth race, back to the turf, another big field. And another late, late scratch in here, too, also. The two, Die Hard Die was a late scratch, so check your tickets. The 1A and the 10 scratched a little earlier than that. So it'll be consolations with the two. And the favorite, well, oh, this is Bungie's race. Bungie picked the 11, Pirate Beach, who went off as the favorite. Bungie doesn't, he's not used to people betting his horse. <laughs> I can see why. But anyway, Pirate Beach went off at 8 to 5. Here's John. And they're off. I got your six does break well, goes right for that lead down toward the inside, high society well in hand. As they come off that shoot up on the outside, Treasure Beach is eager to go, as is Bannon. As they come by the finish line the first time, I got your six showing the way by about two lengths. Treasure Beach now moves nicely in the second, right alongside that's Bannon in third. Then a gap of two to on the inside, it's high society right there alongside. That's Mr. Magician as they curl around that clubhouse turn. Then comes Fantasize. And a gap of about four lengths further back to Perp, followed by Awesome Adrian, Scrapple, and Cathmore Bridge at the back. As they reach the back stretch, I got your six leads it by a length and a quarter. Treasure Beach is right there in second. 
They're bunching up with Mr. Magician toward the inside of Bannon. High Society is going along in fifth. Two lengths further back to Fantasize. And a gap of four more to Perp. Three more to Scrapple. Then Awesome Adrian and Catmore Bridge. As they make their way past the half, 46 and 3, the time on the board, they race into the turn. On the front end, it's still I Got Your Six. Treasure Beach is right there stalking in second. Two and a half lengths to Mr. Magician, followed by up on the outside, Fantasize looking to kick it in. On the inside, that's High Society. They've got a quarter to go, and I got your six still to catch. Treasure Beach is trying, but not cutting the margin. Then a gap of three lengths further back to Fantasize. Next in line is Mr. Magician, High Society, and on the outside, Purpose, they head for home. I got your six still trying to fend off Treasure Beach. On the outside, here comes Fantasize kicking it in. It is I Got Your Six. Treasure Beach is gaining some ground on the inside. Up on the outside, Fantasize. It's I Got Your Six. Treasure Beach with a late surge, but it will not be enough, it appears. But it's a tight photo. On the inside, Fantasize. On the outside, Treasure Beach. That's a photograph with Fantasize. And how about that? There was a kind of a hunch there. The winner was number six. I Got Your Six. Who drew the six today and held off the late charge and won. For a, a lot of gusto in that ride by Augusto Marin. For Stacy Hendry, $21.29 and $6. Pirate Beach was second. John kept calling it Treasure Beach, who's the sire of Pirate Beach. That's a, I can understand uh, making that mistake. But Pirate Beach, Bungie's horse, one more jump might have gotten up, but uh, he, Bungie's had a lot of seconds this year, but. That don't count. Pirate Beach with Trevor, $323. Fantasize with Ruiz, $660. The exact $85.40. The try, $648 even. The double, $1220. That's the consolation double. The actual double, a oh, oh, hefty, $229.80. The consolation pick three, $1510. The actual pick three, $228.50. And the super, $1,081.20. Claim. Yes, claim person. The Pirate Beach, Bungie's horse. The second finisher here was claimed by Bill Sinkowitz. Might be a nice claim there with that one. All right, let's go to the sixth. Scratch the plain one matchup. It was your dream or mine. Went off the favorite. Here's the action. And they're off. Cloud of Judgment breaks well, goes for that lead up on the outside. My boy Lenny quickly to challenge. Sheen's Jewel on the far outside, racing in third, followed by Your Dreams Are Mine, a close up fourth. Then a gap of about four lengths further back to Adulation and Overcame. Clouded Judgment showing the way down the backside. Now opens up two lengths on My Boy Lenny. Your Dreams of Mine has the inside track up on the outside. Shane's Jewel Racing in fourth. Still about three and a half lengths further back to Adulation and overcame about seven lengths from front to back as they speed into the turn. Opening quarter, 21 and four. And on the front end, Clouded Judgment now has some company. My boy Lenny is ranging up on the outside. Your Dreams of Mine, a trio across the track. Adulation begins to move up. Shane's Jewel right alongside, yet to kick it in, and the trailer is overcame. Looks like five with a shot as they head for home. My boy, Lenny, your dreams are mine. Here comes Adulation. Seems to have dead aim on the top two. Cloud of Judgment is dropping back, then overcame, and Shane's Jewel didn't have it today. A 16th to go, and Adulation to the front. Your dreams are mine trying to battle back, but Adulation is edging away. Adulation, and Michael Sanchez wins it by two and a quarter. Your dreams are mine, Getty. And it was the, uh, the three adulation just claimed the last time out of a race at Saratoga where he just missed by a neck. Instant dividends here for trainer James Ryerson, Michael Sanchez, the jockey, and Lanexa Stables, the owners. Eight dollars, four dollars, two sixty. Your dreams or mine with Santeno, three dollars, two forty. My boy Lenny with Suarez, 360. The Exacta, $29. The Try, 104.80. $2 double, 105.40. The Pick 3, 32.30. The Real Pick 3, 662.40. And the Super, 213.10. Adulation. 
takes the six. Best race of the day, I think, was race number seven on the turf at a mile and an eighth. So this one starts at the way top of the chute. It'll come at, right at you for an eighth of a mile, and that's a pretty cool view. And the one, three, and four, and ten were scratched. The favorite was an interesting one, Golden Attitude, uh, bred in Kentucky, but by the uh, Australian sire, Redoubt's Choice, who's by the great Dane Hill. And all of her races have been in France. So she's making her North American debut. She got a lot of action here, as you can see, at four to five. Trevor McCarthy looking for a double. And Arnaud Delacour, who's been very hot uh, recently, is the trainer. And uh, there's a lot of other good ones in here. Hot Girls by K1 King. Galileo's Melody by Galileo. Courageous Dinah is by Courageous Cat. Invernus is by Giant's Causeway. And on and on we go. So anybody can win this one. Let's see what happens in the lucky seven. In there off. Golden Abbott, you got away a step slowly from the inside. But won't lose much ground into that first turn as she'll save ground on the inside. Up on the outside, monthly for the lead. For the inside, Parageous Girl Racing in second as they come off that shoot. Parageous Dine is right there. Followed by, up on the outside, that is Inverness. Then a length and a half further back to Golden Attitude, who has the rail. Up alongside, that is Sleepless, and a gap of two lengths to Hot Girl. And Galileo's Melody is at the back. As they make their way into the clubhouse turn, Monthly leads it by about a length and a half. Inverness up on the outside. Parageous Dinah has the inside track as they move around the turn. Next in line, that's Sleepless in fourth. Golden Attitude has settled nicely in the fifth now. Then comes Hot Girl and Galileo's Melody as they make their way down the back stretch. On the front end, it's monthly by about a length. Inverness racing in second. Then a length and a further back to Parageous Dinah toward the inside of Sleepless. Golden Attitude's going along in fifth. Hot Girl right alongside of that one. And Galileo's Melody about six lengths from front to back as they make their way into the turn. On the board, the half of the 49 and four, they race into the turn now. And on the front end, it's still monthly showing the way. Inverness and Sleepless now moving up on the outside. With the rail, that's Parageous Dinah. Up on the outside, Hot Girl looking to kick it in. Golden Attitude still right there. They're bunching up. Galileo's Melody is the solo trailer, but only about four lengths separates the field as they turn for home with Monthly still to catch. Has it by two with Inverness. Parageous Dinah toward the inside. Golden Attitude now has a seam and is moving on the outside. Here she comes down on the inside. Parageous Dinah, but Golden Attitude in her U.S. debut. She's running powerfully down the lane. And Golden Attitude and Trevor McCarthy on the inside. Parageous Dinah, a game second, followed by Galileo's and Melody. The one with the good breeding and uh, good connections gets the job done. First North American start, Golden Attitude. Uh, you might see this one in stakes races. Clever Trevor, Trevor McCarthy with another win. This one for Arnaud Delacour and LNJ Foxwoods. 360, 280, 240, bet down to favoritism. Parageous Dinah. With Sanchez, 660, 340. Galileo's Melody with Lynch, 260. The exact at 2180. The try, 7460. Double, 2360. Pick three, 172.50. Look at this, pick five. Wow. That's what this three to five shot went in this last leg. $26,830.30 for a dollar. So 50 cents is over $13,000. Not bad. I wish it would have been me. I'd have bought a horse. The Super with the five, $79. So good race there. And you might see Golden Attitude going onward and upward. And that brings us to the eighth and the final, and it's a six furlong sprint for thoroughbreds today. No Arabian race today. We had uh, three out of the uh, six are technicality horses, as I like to call them. And the condition, there's a w way they can get in uh, despite uh, having won a race since June the 5th. And uh, three of them, the one, two, and five, are all technicality horses. 
The favorite was 98 octane at four to five. Here's John with the nightcap. And they're off. To the outside, Candy Way goes for that lead. Right there, awesome standard. How about them Cowboys has the rail? A length further back to 90 Octane. Vicious next in line, and your trailer down the back stretch is untethered. On the front end, on the inside, Awesome Standard has now gotten a neck in front of Candy Way. It's three lengths further back to How About Them Cowboys. Still two more to untether moving up on the inside of 98 Octane. And the trailer now is vicious about seven lengths separates the field as they race into the turn. Awesome Standard showing the way. Leads it by now a clear two lengths over Candy Way. Trying to get in motion. That is up on the outside untethered far outside looking to move up 98 octane how about them cowboys has the rail those three across the track and vicious continues the trail awesome standard still to catch as they turn for home candy ways making a bid now for that lead here comes candy way how about them cowboys off the rail untethered and 98 octane five across the track with a furlong to go pick one out it looks like image resources candy way on the far outside here comes 98 octane how about them cowboys between them how about them cowboys 98 octane to the wire 98 Octane and Trevor McCarthy. Well, man, scramble there at the finish and the closers get up and it was 98 Octane, the favorite. Trevor McCarthy, a triple for Trevor, just like Daddy used to do it, Michael McCarthy. And this one was trained by leading trainer Jamie Ness for Jagger Incorporated. 98 Octane, the technicality horse, 380, 220, 210. How about them Cowboys with Rosado? Another technicality horse, three dollars two forty, and the try Candy Way with Flores also in on that technicality. They ran one two three two eighty. The exact uh, nine sixty. The try thirty two dollars. The double two two Amtrak double seven sixty. The pick three twenty eight eighty, and the pick four four forty eight eighty. And wrapping up the Superfecta, 4650. And that is all the prices in the last race on Wednesday. Now, what do we do now in the show? We show you how much was bet on Delaware Park's races today, not just from the people here at Delaware Park, from the people all over the United States and Canada, and maybe even some ships out at sea. Uh, take our wagers and let's see what that came to. Not bad today. One million six thirty six six fifty three. That's a good handle with New York not running and people at the not at the tracks in New York. So a good handle day and we go right at it again tomorrow. First post is one fifteen. Hope you'll come on out and enjoy the fun here at beautiful Delaware Park. Thanks for watching everybody and good night.